Okay, so the next talk is about congenital uterine malformations, um, as they have a, um, a lot uh, of relevance uh, to what happens in the first trimester. And so it's very important that we are able to recognize them sonographically. Uh, they're obviously easier to recognize when the patient's not pregnant, um, but we'll go over what happens when the patient does uh, get pregnant. Uh, they are certainly associated with infertility and recurrent pregnancy loss, uh, which is why uh, they are important uh, to consider in the setting. So in order to look for and at Mullerian duct abnormalities, it is absolutely essential uh, that you do 3D ultrasound. And I hope that all of you listening uh, are able to uh, do 3D ultrasound, have that capability on your machine, now many machines, uh, most machines have that capability, um, so that you take a volume instead of just a picture, and then you look at your three orthogonal planes that interact with each other, and you move things around so that you can access the coronal or reconstructed view of the uterus. So this is an example where you have this is the acquisition view. I've acquired it in a long axis. I could have acquired it in the short axis, but I could not have acquired it in this reconstructed coronal view, uh, which I then reconstruct and show uh, in this uh, sort of thick slice technique showing uh, the shape of the uterus, where the cornu and the cervix are, and uh, this is what we look for. Now, this is really the ideal view of the uterus because that's the view that Netter chose when he wrote his book about anatomy. Uh, this uh, view shows you the outside of the uterus, the inside of the uterus, so the serosal surface, the uh, mucosal uh, area, uh, the shape of the cavity, uh, the location and the, the shape also of the cervix. So it shows you really everything you need to know about the uterus. And once you have the volume, you can actually navigate through front and back side to side with only one volume showing you all of the anatomy. 